Two of them. Two of them. Where is that? Though? Three of them. Four. Five of them. Five. They're getting closer. <laughs> that one's getting closer. They're all getting closer. One, Stop, don't touch two, three. Nature is unforgiving. And uh, today we're hoping to be the predators on the prey. Oh Are you God. kidding me? The day we've had. Did you see that? Yes, he was so heavy. Oh, hooked up. Unbelievable, John. <laughs> nice little spot to get away and have yep. some fish with your buddies. It's a harsh world out here in the great north. Uh, we stumbled upon something I don't think I've ever seen before. If you take a look below me, we've got kind of an interesting timeline story, if you will. Um, normally when you're going out to these deserted lakes, you don't see much on the ice. So anything that stands out is probably gonna be irregular. Right here we have, uh, well, what looks like a bit of a scuffle. And then over here, we have what looks to be claw marks, or in this case, some uh, wing marks, believe it or not, from a bird. Follow me down here. This is where things get kind of interesting. More wing marks, the scuffle continues, keeps going down. And then what do we have here? We've got uh, some, what looks like dirt from a distance, but we realize is now fur. So we've got some open areas in the snow, right there where there was some sort of like movement. And then down here you have all of this fur, but from what you might ask? Let's keep on going down. Spencer, what do you got there? My buddy Rick, hanging out here. Remembering his last few moments of his life. And uh, sorry to hear that, bud. That is. He got destroyed by a hawk or an eagle. Something, poor guy. Yep. You know what, though? That's the cruelty of nature. It's it's a. Uh, That's the real world we live in. It's a harsh world out here. Nature is unforgiving, and uh, today we're hoping to be. The predators on the prey. Exactly. The prey being what? Crappies. Slab crappies. We're gonna go after some crappies today in Lake the Woods. We've been really pounding the trout scene hard, and you know what? It's about time I take a break since I lost so many freaking fish yesterday. So I'm gonna cool down, go over something a little bit different. Um, rest in peace. We're gonna leave him here for a snack. For rest, a, rest in peace, Mr. Rabbit. It's an unfortunate That's result, but hey, circle life, I guess. All right, let's get to drilling. Here is the game plan according to Spencer Sampowski. We are at a spot that, uh, well, it just looks good. A nice little point, some good depth. Uh, we just drilled all around where our sleds are parked, looking for some sort of deep-ish hole drop off. Basically what I'm trying to say is we're looking for fish, so this is gonna be interesting. Hopefully we find them oh, here. There's a crappie, there's a crappie right there. One, two. Could have been a two of me though. He came in and out pretty quick. Oh, there he is. Tool would be for sure. Anyway. Anyways, I caught sick crappies here like literally six years ago. Nobody's been here this year from what I can see, which is surprising to me. So we're gonna punch four or five holes. We got a few more spots in this bay that we're gonna check out. And uh, that was a sign of life though. That was good. I don't know what that was. Crappie tool would be, could be anything. So we'll uh, keep giving her. All right, let's talk about baits. Uh, crappie can be pretty aggressive in the winter time similar to you know trout they column climb they like to chase around your bait and uh what was that oh look at that goldfish incoming um um so with that being said i'm gonna tie on a little jig with uh soft plastic white little soft plastic it looks like a little uh looks like a little amoeba or something like that and we're gonna get down there and see if we can locate them what size jig head you're using bill no idea what one sixteenth is usually what i like to use in anywhere from 29 to 33 point feet of water I like to set my shaft up on a 30 degree day. I let my plastic sit in garlic oil all night. Okay? Meredith, she gets so mad at me. She says, Tony, where's the garlic oil? I'm trying to make pasta. Meredith, pipe it down. 
I'm trying to rig up my rods. <laughs> Quit busting my balls, lady. <laughs> anyway, moral of the story is, I don't know, I'm getting a divorce. Look how little these soft plastics are. Like tiny. I'm just gonna go right at the tip of my jig head. Simple, straightforward, and easy. Doink. Imitates a little uh, micro invertebrate. Little insect, little minnow. See him? That's the fish? That's the fish. Oh yeah, that's 100%. There, there he is, yeah, yeah, yeah baby! Got him. He hammered it. Yeah, oh that's just uh -oh. terrible. Real, real, real? Okay, We're good. Uh, this We're is good. ugly. Real, 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 real? Wow, thanks again, Panhandle. It was decent, dude. It's a crappie. Yeah. Yes, this is so cool. Nobody's, oh! Oh, nice one. Wow! Nice one. We never even fished here, dude. I've what? I've fished here in six years. What? Nobody's been here. That's a quality That is fish. sick. It's so cool to see, after I've had success here, like I said, six years ago, no one's been in wow. this bay. Like, like that's that's what we're after. Yeah. Like I was content if we got like maybe a few of these, but that's our first fish. That's so cool. On the bottom, pulled them all the yeah. way up to about like 20 feet. Backwoods crappie fishing, baby. Put it there. Unbelievable, dude. Wow. I cannot believe dude, you gotta be that guilty. there's still crappies here. That's a nice fish. Nice black crappie, Lake of the Woods special. <laughs> nice job, Spence. Good intel. What the <laughs> hell? It's probably my biggest crappie of the year of 2019, no doubt crazy fish this water's super stained in here and you can tell because these crappie are almost like yellow like they're really pretty fish yeah look at the look at the like the coloration on his yep. gills there. that's super cool. like that's an awesome look big kicker nice yeah. fight we that's not a giant crappie at all but it's just cool to see that like we came so far um and i had like i said hadn't been here in forever and to see that there's still fish in this bay is really cool so <laughs> kicked off nice Whew. That's an accomplishment. Nice job, dude. Yeah, thanks, man. This is fun. That was a cool moment because we took a wrong turn this morning, and it put us like, I think it was like 18 miles out of our way. Longest, I missed longest drive of the entire. I trip. missed a portage, so we went way south, and then we had to come way back north. But we had a bit of a morning. It's late. That's our first fish, and it's like 11 o'clock too. Okay, eat it. Yep, you can eat it right here. On. <laughs> Hooked up. Super small. It's all good though. Not very good. Like at all. Sure. Yeah. Pretty small. It's good though. It's a sign. Dude, sign these light. are okay, so you say it's a small fish. You have to understand. You haven't been here in years. It's a two hour snowmobile ride. And we just pulled this is the first spot. When does that ever happen? Rarely. Not very often. Rarely. Not very often. Choked it But too. it's a good sign though. Like Notice how that fish ate it. It's like yeah. all the way in the back. A lot smaller than John's, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna put some time in and get a bigger one here. See you buddy. This is always fun. I love crappie fishing. This is kind of what I think we all grew up crappie fishing, right? Like my first ever video was a crappie on the range. There you go. Yeah. I think everybody can relate back to their childhood going crappie fishing with their dad or their grandpa. It's good to bring back the memories of when I was a young feller. That's so cool. It's really slow. Oh my goodness, is that cool. <laughs> That's so freaking cool, dude. Yeah. There's no way to see that comes. fish on a Vexar. He, he was 15 feet away. Yeah. Unreal. Here he comes. Come on, buddy. Get your snack. He's moving faster now. Yeah, he wants it. Maybe go up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, here he comes. Game over. Oh my goodness, is that cool. <laughs> Oh there he my is, baby! Goodness. That is wicked. It's a nice one too. Real, real, real. You got him for me? Yeah. I don't, I'm not gonna take my. Is it big? Stuff. Feels okay. That's so cool, John. It's coming up. Oh yeah, it feels like a nice one, man. Nice. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Are you joking me? <laughs> That's pan optics. As. As annoying has, as that thing is, it has a way of pissing us that off. That is unreal. But also making us happy. That fish was 15 feet away when we first saw him. That's like 13 inches. That's awesome. That is a freaking stud <laughs> crappie. <laughs> so slow. I nice. hope the GoPro picked it up, you guys, because that fish, like Spencer was saying, was off of the hole. Like it was kind of like behind where you're watching this video right now. And he came in super, super slow. I was came turning up. the pan optics to see a different view. Oh my we God. picked him up. Like these are some of the prettiest crop you've ever mm -hmm. seen. They're clean as can be. <laughs> Back up she goes. 
A little assist there, and she's gone. I think that deserves a goldfish. Or two or three. Or two or three. Crappie fish in Lake of the Woods. It's pretty for real. Pretty legit. <laughs> Sweet. Nice mm. work, brother. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, oh, I'm oh, on. You're on. You're on. You're on. He's like, he bit it. <laughs> I didn't see the bite. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah. How's it feel? Good. Nice. Actually, not too big. <laughs> Got her. <laughs> this Just is so cool, one. dude. Moments after I moments after I released mine, Spence went right back down there and grabbed this guy. It's cool because crappie they'll oftentimes run in packs. Sounds like these Lake of the Woods crappie are a little bit different. Hug the bottom, they run in like pairs, maybe three or four, and that's about it. But as you can see, they're choking it. Like there's no hesitation here. Once we find them, it's pretty much like a guarantee they'll eat. I didn't even see that bite, so yeah. thanks for the heads up, bud. Okay, Down now it's goes. your turn. Nice crappie. Oh, I see it. Oh, yeah. I see it. Dude. Got him! This one's a little bit weird. Not bad. Okay, not, not bad. freaking bad. <laughs> cool. What? John just drilled this hole, so we're kind of moving this way a little bit from where we originally started. Just kind of trying to track the school down. We're doing crappie connect the dots right now. We are. You find one hole that's productive, then you look around and you're like, okay, where are these fish coming from? You drill a few more nearby. Once that hole works, so like we've started there, made it over here. Can I put it back? Yeah. I bet there's another one down there. That's where I was going to do, sir. So what's cool is like, you know, you find an area where they're here, but you always think, is there an area that's like five feet over to the left, the right, that's even more productive? So that's what we're doing is we're joining a lot of condensed holes. We started off kind of scattered, looking for the nickel on the dime. And after we find an area that's productive, we can focus on a more specific area opposed to a general area where these fish could be roaming around and schooling up. He's all over it, isn't he? Yep. There he is. Better? No, little guy. Little guy. Squeaky. Reel up slow so they don't. I don't know, jeez. Look at that. <laughs> it's number three for me today. We're doing pretty good. Yeah. Another scenario, the hole in which we started, the whole productive crappie mission was right there. Spence caught one about 10 yards to the right, and then this one was about 10 yards to the left. They are so glued to the bottom. I've never seen crappie act like this before. It's so strange. But they are, in a sense, like still aggressive as to how I would expect. Like you have to get them to chase a lure and such. Solid fish. You know it's a good day when like this is like your smallest one. Like this is a pretty decent crappie. All right, back down she goes. You also have to appreciate the fact that we're the only ones out here. It is a weird, amazing feeling having this whole body of water to yourself. Like you can just like drill any hole, pull up any point, and not have to have any hassle or run-ins with anyone. It's it's just amazing up here in Lake the Woods. If you guys have never come up here, you have to try it. And even if you're not in ice fishing. This is like, to me, in my opinion, this is like the pinnacle. Like, this is what it's all about. You come to a place like this, it's got a variety of species, so much water, you can't even fathom or wrap your head around it, and so many areas to post up and, uh, and just have really different days. Like, that's what's cool about it. It's like, we were fishing in 50 feet of water yesterday for trout. Now we're looking for schooling crappie that are crawling on the bottom. It's so wild. It just amazes me. These, play these kind of places are really special. And God, if I haven't said it enough, that sun feels amazing. I have not seen that thing for four days. Not even kidding. Here we go. Marking? Yep. He's on. That's a good one. Holy moly, that's a good fish. That's a good fish. Really? Yes. I think it's, it could be a walleye. Could be? Yep. I think it's a big crappie. If it is, it's big, eh? Yeah, it's big, big. Oh, big crappie. No, perch. perch. Wow. Like a nice cool. one. <laughs> kind of one, a bycatch. One of the many fish species up here in Ontario. I have not caught a, like a fat little perch in quite some time, so that's kind of a, like you said, a nice bycatch. Yeah. He clapped it. Wow. Yeah, Look at the belly on that guy. What you been eating, guy? I'm going to put this guy back. Spence is going to show you guys what these fish are eating. I don't really know what this is. It could be a little, oh, you know what it is? Blood worms. Yeah, it's some kind of little or worm or, you could even have like a, the, particles of like a freshwater shrimp but uh, wow anyways eating look, something off the bottom look at that in comparison to what we're throwing 
basically same profile, but just a little bit different color. It's all over it. Oh my goodness, eat it. Oh no. What? Stop it, stop it, don't burn, drop it in this, yep, yep. Here we go, here we go, all over it. Yep, set it, yes. There it is. Finally, <laughs> Ooh, Finally. Good, really. Feels good. Feels good. Nice. We needed that. Wow, that sun is just changing us. Is it feeling good? Yeah, it feels nice. Oh, it's a oh, perch. Nice perch. Perch. Not the target species, but like, damn, like a good one. Put him back. Sweet. Cool little guy. It works. This is the beauty of Lake of the Woods. If one of the lakes you're fishing shuts down and the fish don't want to bite, you can drive a few miles over and find a completely different lake. <laughs> This I would consider to be the Hail Mary play of today's crappie mission. This is a spot that I have not fished, neither has Spencer Samplowski. So we are, uh, well it's a bit of a crapshoot. Uh, we're gonna drill here, it's a pretty deep spot. Get to cranking, and if it works, it works. If it doesn't, at the very least, we did one last send to a completely new lake. And man, is there not much around. Like there's two snowmobile tracks. Those aren't ours, are they? Those are ours. So those two, <laughs> yeah, so there's no snowmobile tracks out here. It's empty. All right, let's get to drilling. Up, John, what are you waiting Just on? chill out, Jesus dude. Christ. Give me a skin. Some fish. There's slush everywhere. Stop yelling oh. at me. God, that's why I don't like fishing with you. You're so intense. I just want to pull up my Start launch. Fishing. I my lures in the water. <sighs> look at all the fish down there. I think I'll look at it for half an hour. I'm gonna break off just for you. Like, <sighs> calm, calm down. Calm down. I don't think those are fish to the right. Well, there's fish. There was fish right below me. Watch this. No, I did see that one. This would be insane. I need more slush in my hole. I think you can have more slush in my hole. Two of them. Two of them. Where is that? Three of them. Four. Five of them. Five. They're getting closer. <laughs> that one's getting closer. They're all getting closer. They're Holy all cow, that's a school of fish. That's what I've been waiting to see all day. Okay, you got like two of them on right now. Stop it. Set it. Oh, little. he hit it. They're he little, hit it. Though, I think, man. He did hit it. You saw that. I don't think they're very big. Oh. You hit again? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Oh, these are better than we think, dude. Why the, Look why at how small your so jig low? is. Here we go. Yep, there it is. There it is, nice. What is it? Yes, I don't know, we're about to find out. Crappies. Little crappies. But they're crappies. They're crappies. Dude, feels good. We're I don't a... think that they're all that small though. No, I don't think they are, but we're on a school of them. You guys have no idea how different this is compared to the last lake. Actually, look how different that looks. Yeah. It's more silver than he is like, you know, I don't think yellow. they're all that small though. But, you, oh my God, look at that screen. <laughs> There's just probably 20 fish down yeah. here right now. It's gonna get to the point where I'm not even gonna be able to mark my jig. Okay, you're well, dropping into the mother load. We wanted to see what this looked like earlier. This is what a school of crappie looks oh like. Oh my I can't even, goodness, that it? That was crazy. Holy cow, we're into them now. Here you go, here you go. Something's coming up at it. Get ready. Better? A little bit. A little bit better. Yeah. No, nope. not quite. Still potato chips. Hey, can't be disappointed though. It's it's worked out. That's yeah. the most important thing. Is like our move. I, I, just, I just don't believe they're all that small. Okay, we'll get in there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fish yeah. Go fish I'll uh, I'll play with the nursery, and then you go look for some big ones. This is fun though. At the very least, like it's action. This is drastically different than what was going on just a few moments ago where we couldn't even mark a fish. My whole screen is covered with crappie. Like, wow, I'm about to get bit again. Oh my gosh, dude. That's better. That's better. What the hell is going on here? Pike? I don't know. Loosen up. I am loose. A little bit too loose. Way too loose. Yeah, that's a freaking pike. That's not a, that's what was up on the ice. Yeah. Well, 
kind of an evening surprise here. Definitely not a crappie. If it's a crappie, then I'm gonna lose my freaking mind. I think this is probably going to be a Slimer, which is kind of a cool addition to the day. Getting this guy in is probably not gonna happen too. Like I'm oh. just, what is it? Oh yeah. Got him? I got him. Look at that. <laughs> Nothing like jigging for crappie and then catching one of these guys. You're all wrapped up around I know, them. I'm a little fluggered. Oh, well, that's a interesting looking crappie. Didn't really expect this to join us on the final moments on the lake, but we are in pike country up here in Canada, and it's not a bad little slimer. That was a mean fight. I was super scared. I thought that was a giant crappie, but he hammered it. Really fortunate to get that guy in on four pound test. Straight mono. Nice fish. Let's put him back. Back down, the little slimy goes. Cool. What do you think, buddy? Pretty bang up day of crappie fishing. To think that this is our first day of crappie fishing, we came, we came out here, found them on two separate lakes, and gave just them heck. gave them heck. Gave them H-E double hockey stick. Pretty epic day. No, it was fun. Yeah, we're gonna uh, wrap things up here on the hard water scene. We'll meet you guys back at the cabin. Kind of want to just give an overall synopsis of the trip so far, of like this is the first video of the series that you're watching. There's plenty of more to come, and there's a few others that you might have missed. So. I'm gonna save that portion for the video once we get back and I'm warm and uh, I stop catching these little tiny crappie. I am thoroughly enjoying this on the ultralight rod. Shout out to Max the Rod, by the way. Cool. All right, you ready to go home? Yes, sir. My toes are cold and my hands smell like miniature crappie. Shout out to the slab, Samurai himself, for taking us on quite an epic little panfish journey. Didn't really think we would uh, honestly find fish that easily, that quick, but it all panned out, no pun intended, and uh, we managed to get some nice fish. But no, it's been an awesome trip so far. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. It's always good to hear you guys' feedback because I do these trips because I like them, but it's always, you know, one of those things where I'm not sure if you guys enjoy them. So if you don't enjoy them, we'll just film them. We'll go to, I don't know, we'll go to a pond and film a bass video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, thank you guys for the view. Uh, be sure to check out some of the videos previous to this one. There's like four following this one, and we got two more days here in Ontario, Lake of the Woods. So be sure to check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. As always, folks, keep fishing. Never stop.